The idea behind Defender is that we needed a little bit more mobile option as opposed from Fortress. A Fortress is a permanent structure. There are so many use cases for Defender, both industrial and non-industrial. So you've got storm shelters for tornadoes and hurricanes, potential safe rooms for residences. For industrial, it's a great option for data centers, so critical equipment protection. There's a need during turnarounds, maintenance, um, construction, to have multiple fortress-type buildings, but they need to be able to move them, pick them up, and relocate them. Just like the original fortress, the Defender does protect against blast, but not just blast also toxic and flammable gas ingress, um, fire protection, fragment protection, and extreme weather. The advantages of precast concrete is first of all quality. You can also get higher strength concrete and better precision. But also we are making the structure at the same time you're doing the foundations and clearing the site. So we're building the structure, if you will, in parallel to the site prep rather than in series. By doing that, you can tighten up the schedule enormously, but on top of that, the erection of the precast elements goes up with a very small crane and crew extremely quickly. Today, we did a side-by-side -side test between a steel BRM and then the Fortress Defender, which is a precast concrete structure. It was important to evaluate the one-to-one -one response of the Defender to the BRM because BRMs are marketed as being blast resistant. Today's tests clearly demonstrate that the Defender can withstand high blast loads and, and longer duration loads than a typical high explosive. So this is after the test, post-test. But one of the key things to point out is that even throughout the duration of that test and the magnitude of it, you can see a paint mark down there. And even with the blast magnitude that we're hitting it at, it only slid about three quarters of an inch. So for the exact same blast load, two specimens side by side, just a stark difference between how they performed. We're inside of the Fortress Defender now, and this is post-test, believe it or not. As you can tell from the lack of non-structural debris in here, Fortress Defender makes for a great place to store critical equipment so that the equipment stays online and you can use it for emergency response after an event. A catastrophic event is, is really anything at a plant where the stuff gets outside of the pipes. At a, at a petrochemical facility, a flammable gas gets out of pipes and ignites and creates an explosion. And it's important to understand how the buildings around that explosion respond because those house people and we're trying to keep those people safe. I'm extremely proud. The reason why we started Fortress was to protect people and equipment and make sure that everybody goes home safe every day. And that test today proved that that will happen in a defender on design basis loads. Get a Fortress today because it is the next generation of protection.